All right, what is going on, gamers? You are watching Alarians. We are back in Explorer. We just had Wilds of Eldraine release, so we are trying out some new cards here. Uh, but before we get into that, if you get something out of this video, please like it so YouTube knows that. Anyway, so this is Boros Prowess. We're very aggressive here. The main goal of the deck is we play these creatures that give us some bonus when we target them with spells. And then we play a bunch of cheap spells that make their power bigger, and between those two we put a lot of power onto the board very quickly and uh, attack our opponent for lethal as early as turn three. Uh, a lot of this deck has been pretty good for a while, but there are two pretty sweet new Wilds of Eldraine cards here that I think are going to be good. First one is Monstrous Rage here, which is mostly better than Infuriates, which is what had previously been in this spot, so one mana instant. Target creature gets plus two plus O oh until end of turn, and it gets a monster roll, which you see there, which then gives it plus one plus one and trample permanently. So three power this turn and trample, and still one power on the next turn if we are not winning the game immediately is really, really good. This very efficient power and trample is often relevant to get our one really big creature three blockers. The other one here is Cheeky House Mouse. It is a one mana two one with no text, but it does have an adventure, which says target creature you get control gets plus one plus one until end of turn and can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater this turn. So each half of this card is pretty mediocre, right? That's not a very good pump spell and it's not a phenomenal aggressive creature, but you put them together on one card and both being one mana, I think this is going to be pretty solid for this deck. It is both of the things that this deck wants, right? It is a one mana pump spell and a one mana aggressive creature. A lot of the time it is nice to have a uh, smaller creature that isn't necessarily capable of winning the game by itself, which is the category this house mouse goes into, as well as Swift Spear, usually, which then gets a bit more damage in while your main creature, your Illuminator Virtuoso, one of these that gets 1-1 one -one counters when you cast spells, does the bulk of the damage. Uh, nothing else too exciting here. All of these spells are pretty established. Uh, I would like to note that in this current build, after adding these Eldraine cards, there are no rare spells in the main deck. Uh, the previous version I had was playing Soulscar Mage and uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist as the only rares, but in order to test these new cards, I took those out, so it is reasonably budget-friendly now. You do still need some cash in the mana base, as we're playing two colors in an older format. That is going to happen. Another thing I'd like to say is that four of each is probably not correct. Uh, for one, multiple monstrous rages are not that good right once a creature has a roll on it if you want to put another roll on it the previous one falls off so if you cast a second monstrous rage onto the same creature it is just going to be plus two plus oh until end of turn which is not phenomenal and cheeky house mouse uh, not necessarily worse in multiples but not sure it's quite good enough to play four of but in order to sort of showcase the new cards here we are going with four of each uh, 20 lands a bit of utility all the spells that we've seen in this deck before Illuminator Virtuoso is the uh, all-star here. 1-1 one, one double strike. When you target it, it connives, so it gets a 1-1 one, one counter most of the time and gives you some card selection, and this is how most of the turn 3 wins come in. It is pretty easy to get this guy up to 9 or 10 power and then just smack him down for almost 20 or 20+. twenty plus. Anyway, that is the deck. We do have Gigantha. is the only rare spell. It is free. We'll see if it actually comes up in... Uh, the games today, but yeah, let's go try this out. Yeah, we don't have any of our big creatures, but we're gonna play. Mana's good. I think we'll try it. Fortunately, with the bugbear, we can't play both halves of the mouse on turn two. Might Monstrous Rage, the Swift Spear. We definitely want to get to at least three toughness so we're safe from Stomp against Mono Red or similar to uh, two damage removal. And I guess this is the only card we can cast with our Red Land, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I guess Homestead Courage means we're safe from Lightning Strike, too. We'll go for that. Tank for seven. Here we go. Or 
burning tree, sure. Robber, no good attacks here, lovely. Ancestral Anger, a little bit lucky. Another card we can cast with our Den of the Bugbear. And the second Monstrous Rage, not phenomenal. Another Homestead Courage is probably good here, though. Keep our blocks up, make sure we have plenty of toughness. Attack for seven, down to five. No blocks here. They're not going to kill me from 19, and I can definitely kill them on the backswing. Yep. Absolutely no need for that third land, but there it is. And opponent assumes that we have at least one spell in hand to buff the Swift Spear before we even show it. Very powerful stuff. One lander and no card draw. I think we can do better. Two lands, two creatures. Looks pretty good. Probably want to put one of the spells back. And it's not giving us any information. Drop the gods willing. Island. Okay. Hoplite. Spirits. Okay. God's willing, not super necessary against spirits. Feel okay about that. Don't usually run much proper removal. Curious Obsession, sure. Also, all of our spells are cheap enough that we don't really mind getting some countered. It's pretty nice. I would mind getting the 10th district countered though, so we'll play the Swift Spear. And Ancestral Anger here. Just want to try and keep drawing lands. See if this resolves. It does. And we find the land. Lovely. Attack for 5. Flash in another spirit here. Sure. Take one damage for it. Love to see it. Play another uh, aura here, maybe. Yep. Another curious obsession. Hits me for four. Uh, 14 to 14, draw a bunch of cards. Hopefully we find another spell here to use all our mana. I don't think 10th District is the way we want to go. Cheeky House Mouse, phenomenal. Let's see. I guess I'd least like them to counter the Defiant Strike, so we'll start there. Most of these lists don't run Fading Hope or anything like that, so I'm not really afraid of one mana interaction. Go ahead and play Squeak By. Can I give my creature plus one plus one? I'm gonna counter it so I can't play the two one. Sure, that's fine. So this lethal, this is plus 3, 4, 5. 8 plus 5 is indeed 13. And got him. Pain lands, a bit of a pain. Your opponent is as aggressive as possible. Love to see it. Yep, that hand is pretty good. 
Two of our best creatures, two very solid spells, two lands that have both colors. Breeding pool attack for our opponent. Let's play the Virtuoso so we can attack with it next turn. Maybe see what our opponent's up to here. Island. And. Passes. Sure. Get our other Swifty down here. All sorceries is a little rough. I think this is the one I least care if it gets countered, so we'll start there. Trigger, trigger. Guess they could be sitting on a sensor or something. Three lands is enough. I think I'll put that away. Mm. Let's play the other half, I suppose. No need to give them more information. I'll play it a bit superfluous at this point. Probably not going to need more creatures than this. They have the bounce spell, which is a bit unfortunate. We still get to get in for six here, though. Forest pass. Let's see. Do I want to try and get the Virtuoso back down, or just try and Swift Spear my way through this? And they're not going to be playing sweepers or anything, right? Probably fine to put the Virtuoso down. Start here, I suppose. Resolves. Go to combat. Attack for five. Play a 4 2 flash. Opponent cast a blue and or black spell. Look at your cards of your library. Sure. So whatever they block here, we can Monstrous Rage to blow them out. Six five, very nice. With trample, lovely. Go ahead and play the hoplite then. See if there's any way Simic can survive this. There are four mana mac. Uh, mass bounce spells, I guess, but not super likely. Squeak by. It's just trying to play some Clash, which I don't think is terribly good. Step to attack for twice lethal, and we got him. 3 0. The mouse being our only creature, I don't think is going to cut it here. That is better. I think we drop the land. I have a redraw in Ancestral Anger. Deck works pretty okay on two lands anyway. Put it with Lightning Bolt Sleeves. Perhaps they're going to... Bolt all my creatures, which is probably the toughest matchup for us. Um, I kind of want to play the Hoplite here. Guess we can Anger, draw a card. They have nothing. Cool. Hoplite is out. Usually better to play the creatures that do not have haste first. Opponent also has a swift spear and no land drop. Very questionable. But yeah, our legionnaire. Get in for a few points. Hold up God's Willing in case they find some removal. And they don't find the second land. Wow. Not all wins are because your deck is good. Wow. 
one lander with the ancestral anger. It's kind of rough. We're on the draw. We're only playing 20 lands, though. They're only playing 18 lands. Sorry. Uh, we'll go for two, then. That's better. Back the Legionnaire. Sure. See what our opponent's doing. We might play the mouse on turn one here. Oh, they're gonna thought seize me. Red Fugue. All my cards cost two or less. Definitely takes the Virtuoso, which is pretty rough for us. Yep. Alright, this is my mouse. Please don't hurt him. And that's probably game. Give it one draw for another creature. It's not another creature, and that's what happens sometimes. Play super linear decks, get interacted with a little bit, and there it goes. Double mouse. Yeah, I still don't think two mice is enough to get it done, unfortunately. It's the issue with playing so many of these. Yikes, that is not going to do it either. Well, that's as good of a five as we're going to get. Back Rampage and Monstrous Rage, I suppose. Pay two, Swift Spear. Next turn, hopefully play both sides of the mouse. Play no more elves. Alright, well with that, I think we're playing the Virtuoso here. Very good draw. Troll, fine. We can attack through that fairly easily. Start here. Another Defiant Strike. Kind of need these cards, so I think the mouse has to go. Though the mouse does mean the uh, troll can't block something, or lots of things can't block something later. Alright, we're here to try out the mouse. Let's keep the mouse. Reckless Rage. Be nice next turn, perhaps. Let's just draw the cards. It's fine. A swift spear can go. Black mouse. Sure, we'll attack for 10 with trample here. On it jumps. I do get the bonus mana from that. And of course, gain four. But feeling pretty good about our chances of winning here. Don't have an elf. They do have an elf. That's unfortunate. That means our mouse can't uh, make us unblockable here. Start with it though. Okay, no, it's fine. Reckless Rage kills the elf. We're at 12. Mouse coming in clutch. Hoo hoo! Takes down Mono Green. Love it. Yeah, that looks good. Play it on one, Legionnaire on two, bunch of good spells. Might just lose two going second against Burn, though. If they can shock my creatures before I have the mana to grow them, that does not go too well for us. Light up the stage, sure. And play with fire, kills my dork. Fortunate. If we go first, this looks a lot different, but that is magic sometimes. Let's see if they can kill this one. Lava Runner. Thanks. Lights up the stage again, I imagine. Okay, neither of those cards kill my Legionnaire. Do any of the cards in hand do it? No. Okay, we have a chance. They have a blocker, we'll go ahead and Ancestral Anger here for the trample. 
trying for spells, please. That is a fine spell. Now we get this up to five toughness. Should be pretty difficult for them to deal with. Mm. Is there any chance they have colorless blockers? Guess a non-zero chance, but not super likely. Let's just do this. We'll hold the ancestral anger. Also not super likely they can kill me from 16 here. Maybe I should have held up the God's Willing, just in case they can deal 5 to my Legionnaire. That honestly might be the more likely way we lose this. So I think we should have plenty of damage. They do also shrink from the Soul Scar, which is a bit annoying. Firebrand. Firebrand. They can take it back to a 1-1. One, one. If they want to. They don't, they only need back one firebrand. Should be okay here with at least three spells. Start here. Hmm. See, so yeah, I guess we can play that and then both the other spells. Sure, we'll take it. Guess we'll do this first. Maybe that was incorrect. Sure. Eight. And then, yeah, we should be okay to God's Willing the Swift Spear, right? They put this down to seven, this goes up to three. And we got him. Block, but we still got him. Easy game. As long as they don't draw quite enough removal for us. Or double mouse hand. Yeah. Probably not going to keep four of those forever. Should I try it for the content? I guess so. See if two cheeky house mouses can win a game in Explorer. Because otherwise, the sand is pretty solid. If our opponent would like to join us here. There we go. Here's a mouse. Mana conflicts. Fought these, sure. Minus three. Probably Grease Fang then. Take the God's Willing, sure. Think I need to maximize my value here. Or is it better to get the second mouse down? I think I need the damage here. Put this down, play Monstrous Rage on the one that can attack. Lose some life, attack for five. See if we can punish our Mana Confluence opponent. Grease Fang doesn't usually play much interaction. It's 
pretty much just the uh, Witherbloom command is usually it. And blockers, of course. And I guess the uh, Sky Sovereign sort of counts. This one's on Fatal Push. Okay. That is not great for us. It's a pretty good draw, though. Draw some cards, maybe some lands. Hmm. I think I still need to find... And find the other lands, then we can do 10th District things next turn. Necro 4. I'm not going to Grease Fang us this turn, at least. Uh, if they don't do much, we draw a red land. 10th District plus Monstrous Rage should get them. If we don't draw the land, we'll probably go for the Virtuoso. Another nice thing that I found with this deck is we can often beat the Grease Fang combo. They'll hit us for 13, and then we can still just kill them through their angels. Alright, there's a land, but they were able to kill my... ...mouse. Do I play around another Witherbloom command by playing the 10th District Legionnaire? Right, that's 3, plus another 4, puts them to 1. Turns off their mana confluence. I guess that's pretty good. Don't need another land here. No, sorry. Miscounted that. Just into two. Still makes their mana confluence pretty dangerous. They have another fatal push. They go to one, so now their mana confluence is off. Play the Virtuoso. Pass the turn. <laughs> and they cannot win from there. Opening hand with two mice does it against good old... Or not staple grease fine. Wow. And of course we crash. Love it. We are back. Went 7 and 1. Doesn't get much better than that. Uh, very fast games as well, if you are into that sort of thing. Uh, Monstrous Rage was phenomenal. Probably fine playing four of those. The mouse was... I mean, it did well in the games that we played it, for the most part. That uh, can't be blocked clause came in against Mono Green. And it was a spell when we needed it to be, and a creature when we needed to be, needed it to be, which is basically what it was there for, so it was, went pretty well. Um, I might go down to two mice and bring back some of the Treadhorde Arcanists, because that card is very strong. The other card I cut when uh, putting in these cards was Reckless Rage, and of course Infuriate. I think Monstrous Rage is pretty much close enough to Strictly Better than Infuriate that that is fine. Didn't really miss the other Reckless Rages. Uh, it was nice against the uh, the Lanora Elf that one time, but most of the time we are more interested in trampling over our opponent's creatures rather than spending a card simply to remove them without growing our power. Uh, the one place this card is pretty important is against Angels, but that matchup is kind of rough anyway with the whole life gain thing going on. It's probably not worth uh, diluting your deck against decks that aren't really playing that many creatures, whereas our Trample cards still give a pretty reasonable power boost. Yeah, overall, I think this deck is really strong if you want to climb an Explorer very quickly. I think this is probably the best way to do it at the moment. It's just... it's, it's very, very good. Um, my record yesterday testing it was 9-4, and four, plus 7-1 and one today is a pretty bonkers record. And some of that yesterday was before I... Uh, Fixed up the mana base a little bit after putting in the mouse and cutting some other stuff. Uh, the deck was skewed a lot more white than it was previously, so playing a bunch of solo red sources is not phenomenal. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this Invigorated Rampage. We didn't cast it this time, but it is a really cool card. It gets It is the only way to trigger two of your... You have to target this creature creatures at the same time, because it can... Of course, two target creatures get plus two plus one trample, so that does come up sometimes. And one card giving your Illuminator Virtuoso plus four plus O oh is bonkers as well. But of course, we want most of the deck to be one mana, so I think two of those are fine. And as for the mana base, 
maybe Den of the Bugbear is like completely unnecessary, as how many times are you actually going to get to five lands in this deck and have it matter? And same uh, exact reasoning for Gigantha, right? We never got really close to doing that in any of these games. Do we get to like three lands and usually we're putting away any additional lands with one of these two cards? Of course, winning the game by turn four is often what we're trying to do. I guess if your opponent is super grindy, then these come in. Like if they're on the black-based mid-range decks, which we didn't see too much of, except for the one that just picked a spart immediately and was the only loss today. But anyway, this deck is pretty sweet. It's nice to see some uh, accessible uncommons from Wilds of Eldraine making some waves here. And you get to play a cute mouse, right? It's, it's, it's all good. Cheeky house mouse. Who doesn't love it? Anyway, thanks for watching. One other note, I'm not claiming that this is exactly the best spread of lands for this deck. If you have more inspiring vantages, go ahead and put them in. I have not crafted more than two of this one so far. It is, of course, a good idea to spend your wild cards on your mana base, but you don't necessarily have to have the best possible option as long as you have some good options, right? The shock lands and the pathways are pretty good. Pain lands, as long as you're super aggressive, fine. But yeah, it, it works. 18 lands is enough when almost all your spells cost one, and we have a reasonable amount of selection with the cantrips and virtuoso and 10th district, so it works out pretty well.